Welcome to Lecture Online. The next topic we're going to talk about is what we call equations in two variables. Now, it's something you've probably already seen without realizing that that's what we call it, equations in two variables. When you see an equation like this, y equals x plus 4, this is an equation because it has a left side, a right side, and an equal sign, and it has two variables, the variable y and the variable x. But what we usually don't talk about is that one of the two variables, the one on the left side, is called a dependent variable, and the variable on the right side is called an independent variable. In other words, y depends on the value for x. Or I shouldn't say for x, probably want to say of x. Whatever value we plug in of, for x, the value of y will depend on that. For example, when x equals 2, we can evaluate the value for y. When x equals 3, we can evaluate the value for y. The value for y simply depends upon the value we give to x. So when we have an equation like this, y equals x plus 4, and we want to let x be a certain value, then we replace x by that value and then calculate what y is equal to. Another way of writing that is as follows. We can say y is a function of x. And then we can write as y with parentheses and put the value of x in there. This indicates that this value, or this variable y, depends on this variable x. And this is how it depends on it. If we now want to evaluate it, and that's what we were talking about over there, if we want to evaluate the function for a particular value of x, we write it like this. We want to know the value for y when x equals 2. And then all we do is take the equation right here, take the right side of the equation, plug in the value for x equals to 2, and evaluate y. So in this case, that would be 2, because x now becomes 2 plus 4, and so the result is that this is equal to 6. Let's say we have another equation. Let's say we have the equation y, which is a function of x, is equal to 3 times x plus 5, and now we want to evaluate that equation when x is, for example, equal to 4. So y, when x is equal to 4, is equal to, again, we're going to evaluate the value for y by replacing every x by the value that x is equal to, which is 4. And this becomes 3 times 4 plus 5. So in other words, y, when x is equal to 4, is equal to 3 times 4, which is 12 plus 5. Or finally, y, when x is equal to 4, is equal to 17. See, y is only equal to 17 when x is equal to 4. When x is equal to a different value, y will therefore take on a different value. And that's what we mean by the value of y simply depends upon the value for x. Give me a value for x, and I will give you what y is equal to, but only for that particular value of x. Any other value for x, y will be a different value. And that is what we mean by equations in two variables. That's the concept. We have an independent variable, x, and we have the dependent variable, y, which depends upon whatever value x takes. And that's how we just explain equations in two variables.